Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna be doing something really fun. Obviously I love to change my hair, I love to change the color, I love to change the style. Like there's so many trendy hairstyles right now. I'm gonna be showing you four really simple, you just need hair ties, really simple. Hairstyles that are super trendy and kind of like embody all of these different types of personalities and different styles. I am also going to be teaching you and showing you the new Batiste Waterless Cleansing Foam. This is an amazing product that I'm so excited to talk about and share with y'all. because It is different from a normal dry shampoo. It still gives you that refresh um, in 60 seconds, which is amazing. But it's made for people with hair that is dry like mine because it's so color treated. Uh, with hair that has more texture and sometimes dry shampoo is just a little bit too drying. First look I'm going to be showing you is how to do some space buns. I call this the e-girl look. If you don't know what like an e-girl is, it's basically those really cool girls on the internet um, that you see on your TikTok or on you know your Instagram feed that just pull off these looks that are so bold yet so effortless and love them, want to be them, and I feel like the space buns is like their signature move. I'm gonna show you how to do some really easy space buns. They are a lot easier than you think. I think it's just the confidence to pull them off. You know, walk down and be like, yes, I'm wearing space buns. Thank you. Space buns look. I am using the waterless cleansing foam. This is the hibiscus root. This is personally my favorite scent but I think I'm kind of skewed by like the color of the bottle. Hair, same color. I'm not really sure like what kind of tricks my mind is playing on. It's one, it's my favorite. Actually put this right on your dry hair. That is the whole point. No need to get your hair wet. I don't wash my hair often. Hair is really dry, so I really don't need to, but I do feel sometimes that I need a little refresh on day like two. And there's your foam. It's absolutely wonderful. This can be used root to tip all over your head if you want or just in the places that you feel it needs a little refresh, but you can literally put it all over your hair. All right, I waited about 60 seconds and as you can see, my hair is totally dry even though I put it all through the roots and all through like my hair the foam really does dry and look how much volume it gave me dang official tutorial you want to start by putting your hair in a nice middle part I like to section it off and actually tie off one side so I'm using these little teeny tiny hair ties I mean they are section it off Now you want to take the section that's down. I have found that with space buns, in order for them to just like really feel like they're right, they have to be sitting right on top of your head. So once you have this little pigtail thing, you want to take it and wrap it around pretty tight. You can always loosen up later, but to start, you want it really tight. Take your little hair tie right on the base of it. Now you have one little space bun. Now let's do the other side. Same thing. And there you go. All right, the next look that I'm going to show you, I like to say it's for my girls who work in the office. I found that I have a lot of friends who kind of just get stuck in like one hairstyle. I think that this is a nice solution that it looks really nice, clean, put together, but it's just something slightly different and so easy that maybe you just wouldn't think of. This, I'm gonna add a little bit more refresh to my hair and this is the almond oil cleanse and strengthen 
waterless cleansing foam. Girls who work in offices, CEO ladies, y'all are strong. A little bit more foam. Kinda gonna judge it through my hair. Again, just using one little hair tie, I'm just gonna do a French braid half up, but all the way back. So it almost looks like a little bit like a mohawk vibe because I'm gonna do a Dutch inside, like a Dutch braid, which is like an inside out French braid. So it'll have like a little bit of texture in the back, but it'll be off your face and just look really professional. Start just how you would a normal French braid with the three pieces, but if you don't know how to Dutch French braid, it's something that's really easy to Google. And it's also just, you're crossing under instead of over. If you know how to French braid, you'll get that. <laughs> Once you get to about here, you wanna tie it off. And there you go, it is off your face. It's almost just a nice solution from a traditional like bun. I don't know if I could get by in an office with this hair, honestly, probably not, but it's okay. Nice, clean, polished, ready to uh, get to work. For the next look, this is the California Girl. I don't know the California Girl style. It is so effortless and super cool. I mean, these are the girls that are like, I'm gonna go to the beach and like skateboard and like, do all this cool stuff that I can't do. So I just, I love California girl style and I feel like they are always either wearing a cute little head scarf or some cool braids, some beachy texture. So I'm just gonna do two French braids and I'm gonna really mess them up and make them look like I've been at the beach all day um, and kind of like fluff them out. So my California girl look will look legit. All you need are these two little hair ties. Like these are just super simple ideas that, you know, if you want to mix it up, just mix it up with these. Another scent, this is the Cleanse and Hydrate. This is with cactus water. So, you know, cactus is pretty like West Coast. Uh, This one smells like a spa to me. Like I smell like I'm in a spa at a fancy resort in California. Living my best life. He's not him. Thank God. Wow. That is some volume. That alright. Two French braids. I'm gonna just do Dutch braids again because I really love the look of them and I think they're easier to fluff out. So I'm just gonna do two quick Dutch braids. And I think the real part of this tutorial is gonna come from actually fluffing them out. I get a lot of requests on how do I do that. So here we go. Okay, now that you have your braids done, this is the part that I really think makes the look, and that is fluffing out your braids. Um, this is something I do all the time, and I really feel like it makes it look California. So you wanna have your braids down here just kind of loose. They don't need to be super tight. You wanna have kind of a lot of extra hair down here, and then you literally just pull. Just hold down the bottom. The proper term for this is called like, pancaking or something but and you do it all the way up even up into the French part I really don't have very thick hair and this creates the illusion that I have really thick hair that's why I do it all the time <laughs> And there you go, they're all fluffed out. They're relaxed looking, super effortless and California.
And the last hairstyle I'm gonna show you guys is a very vintage 70s look. I saw some pictures of like some famous movie stars back in the 70s and I saw them doing this and I've seen a lot of girls do it recently just on my Instagram and I think it is so cute and so easy. So it's just little tiny braids randomly in your hair, um, kind of like peekaboo braids, um, just, you know, different thicknesses. So like you're gonna do a thick one here or like a really small one here. You're gonna do one high up, one down low and you do like, I don't know, maybe like four or five. And I just feel like it adds a texture to your hair that looks super vintage and it's really interesting. So yeah, here we go. The last scent of the Batiste Waterless Cleansing Foam. This is the Cleanse and Shine with Coconut Milk. I'm gonna focus more on the ends, I feel like. Ooh, that smells so good. For me to be really refreshing scents, and that's the whole point, is to have a refresh. They are all very clean, refreshing. I mean, look how quick that dries. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of go through and braid small pieces. I'm gonna start down here with a pretty thick one. You can even pluck this out if you want. I'm gonna leave it for now and maybe come back to it. And I'm gonna do one over here, kind of underneath. It's still more towards the top. I'm gonna make this one pretty small. I'm gonna do another one similar to that size, but kind of more towards the back over here. And then I'm gonna do one more just like right here. And then you can add as many as you want. I think I'm gonna stop right there, but see how it just kinda adds a nice texture and like an interesting little look. Super, super 70s and different, and I don't see this hairstyle a lot, so why not? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have some inspiration to try out some of these looks. They're super fun, super simple, easy. And also try the new Batiste Waterless Cleansing Foam. I'm a huge fan and I love the refresh in 60 seconds. It is perfect for me and my dry hair and this life where I never wash my hair. So it's really great and I hope you try it and I hope you'll have a wonderful week and thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.